for viewing and monitoring uh, digital slides. And uh, I would like to show you uh, PMA Start, which is a, a free version of the system that we're developing. And it's a, it's a universal viewer for digital slides, but it's also more than that that we'll see in a moment. <clears throat> so in order to uh, acquire PMA Star, you can uh, visit free.automation.com. I think it's also noted in the in the notepads that you have. Uh, you can I'm already registered here, but you can click download and you have to register. I'll show you in a moment. You have to use one method to register, like I don't know. Um, Facebook and uh, Google, yeah, and LinkedIn. So <clears throat> you just have to use one of these methods. You can, and then you can download for free. It may start. So once you have it, you can install it. I'll show you the installation. Only takes a moment. Just as simple as that. And there you go. Now you have a universal whole slide image viewer in your computer, uh, which, like I said, we'll see later on that it's more than just a simple viewer. Uh, I'll just open a couple of slides here. You will see how it works. You just you can browse through your files, and uh, there you go. You can see right away. The images, you don't no conversion needs to take place, no uh, no other action, no configuration, everything works works like right away, just as you have the slides in your computer. You can see here, just take a note of the website, you can see um, all the file extensions that are supported, which are quite a lot, all the uh, file formats that actually are supported from whole slide images. And uh, if you encounter any that we cannot read or any file type that there is a problem, you, of course, feel free to contact us. So, um, the viewer can also display uh, fluorescent images. You can also control the channels that you, that you have right here, as well as um, uh, bright field images. Uh, <coughs> so. Further on, uh, since you, I guess, most, most of you uh, do some kind of software development and you have always to read uh, whole slide images at some point, I'll just show you a little bit the architecture of what PMA Start is and how it works because maybe some of you have noticed that it, it loads a website in order for you to see the images. So PMA Start is uh, installed in the local computer, like, like I showed, through a setup file. And in order to uh, show the viewer, to pop up the viewer, a web browser is found and it loads a web page, free.automation.com. Once this web page is loaded, all the commu communication happens between your browser and uh, PMA Start, which is local at, at the computer. No transfer is taking place. Uh, between your computer and uh, automation server. So practically, PMA Start is a web server uh, that's being installed in your computer. And uh, there is a reason why this is uh, done this way. We'll see later on. So it's a it's a web server. Uh, it's installed on your computer. It's like a state here. It's headless, so there is no user interface installed locally. That's why you have to load the page in free.pogmation.com and uh, all communication happens locally. So we'll get now to the point where I said that it's more than uh, just a viewer because uh, PMA Start is practically a system that can read most of the image, uh, the whole slide image formats and can stream them over the web. So we have an API for that, 
and we have um, and practically you can use any uh, programming language and any component to grab images from PS PMA start and not bother reading the actual files from us. PMA start can, that, can do this for you. So for example, we have developed a plugin <coughs> for image J. We have uh, on our website we have instructions on how to set it up and use it. I'll just show you here. I have it right here. So uh, I suppose some of you are already, already familiar with image J. No? Um, image J is yeah, it's a an open source tool for image analysis. So um, but uh, out of the box it cannot read file formats that are popular uh, and you encounter uh, often in digital pathology. So we've built this plugin where you can uh, seamlessly uh, read, open these kind of files within uh, image J. So here's how it's done. We have a plugin. You can open it. You select the image that you want to open. You can op also crop the region that you want to see. Then you can select uh, how big you want the image to be and there you have it and from now on you can continue doing image analysis as you regularly do within image J furthermore this plugin can also be uh, used from the command line and cannot be automated so you don't have to uh, use the mouse or the, the input to decide which images to load and what tasks to run on them all this kind of information is available in our website and of course uh, like, like it's here and of course um, if you have any questions or if you have any feature requests you can drop us a line and we'll take care of it one more thing I would like to show is uh, we have a sample here with uh, using Python to load uh, images from uh, from PMA start and we did a small example of how one can do some very simple image analysis not the kinds of uh, what you guys showed earlier and possibly later but it's just an example of what can be done so uh, again all the codes, all the samples, all the scripts are available on our website uh, what we have is we wrote a simple script in Python that communicates with PMA start uh, it loads uh, an Im it loads a couple of images and it runs a thresholding algorithm to just do some edge detection here uh, and I can show it right away so I get to show image analysis running don't have a powerpoint for that okay Let's see. it's here so in this folder, once I run it, we should see um, the, the results of the script that we, like I said, uh, we have also online. It's very simple, it connects to PMA star that's already installed and running of course, and it asks the images, it, it uh, requests the images for in a specific directory, runs the algorithm, which uses OpenCV and stores the results in a given folder. So, as you see, uh, the output was to draw the outline of the tissue in those images that we that we had in the, available in that directory. Okay, it's not very uh, intelligent or fancy, but you get the idea how you can plug in your scripts and uh, focus on. Um, writing your algorithm doing image analysis instead of uh, spending your time uh, by figuring out how to read any type of uh, digital slide that you might encounter so again uh, it's free.automation.com it's totally free you can uh, register and start using it